Happy Easter, everybody. April the 4th, 2021, Redline Nova update. I have been working on the exhaust on the car. And um, let me turn the camera around and show you what I've been up to. So you'll notice that I've now got my Flowmaster mufflers, uh, straight through mufflers. I've switched out and gone to a straight through muffler that I've got mounted in the car. I've got a straight section of tubing right up through there that I've done so that I could mount uh, my exhaust cutouts in there if I want to, and I likely will. I have also done an H-pipe through here. Have a look at the H-pipe that I did. Uh, I also bought some little stainless steel brackets off of eBay and then just some 3 8 inch rod. Uh, put them in my shop press and kind of flared them out on the end a little bit so that my bushings don't slide off. So I'm just using, you know, regular 3 8 inch rod and some custom brackets I got on eBay to kind of make my exhaust hangers i think that's going to turn out really cool and then back here everything's is this is where everything gets kind of kind of tricky so i've got to go from three inch round to three and a half inch oval and a height differential to do so so uh here's the adapter it's a three to three and a half round adapter you can see i've welded together then going into three and a half inch oval i'm doing a second video i'll probably post later this week why, uh, where i explain why i'm doing three and a half inch oval instead of three inch oval be sure to check that out um some good uh, information there so that's what i'm doing there in terms of getting to the uh, the height differential, you'll notice I've put a red line right here, right where this, this bin finally goes straight. We're going to put some pie cuts in right there and just kind of drop everything down so that this entire section moves down. By doing so, that's going to create some space in here where the rear, uh, the, the rear passenger's feet can kind of drop down and be more comfortable. And uh, anyways, here's the, uh, here's the pie cuts that I've been working on little 10 degree pie cuts that I'm going to use in there to kind of drop things down. I'm also having the friends of mine with their laser cutter in uh, Memphis, Tennessee make some brackets. And the reason I'm having them make some brackets is because, uh, have a look here at the exhaust. I have to put a cut with some brackets in right here so that this piece can bolt to this piece. So I'll cut it right here. And the reason I have to do that is because if I don't, I'm never going to be able to get the exhaust out of the car for repairs. So that's just kind of the the, the truth of it, really. Um, my exhaust, of course, runs through the rockers. This weekend, I went ahead and wrapped the tip in some uh, uh, header wrap material, which you can kind of see if you get up in there and really look close, see some, uh, some header wrap material in there. Basically, just to um, insulate, you know, the exhaust tip so it doesn't bounce around inside there and make a clinkety clanking sound, as well as to try and keep from transferring heat into the rocker. So that's what I've got. The exhaust is uh, is coming along quite well. I think that probably the next the next time I post an update video, I'll have one complete side of the exhaust done so pretty excited about that stuff i am also really excited in that i have a set of forge line wheels delivering tomorrow pretty um pretty awesome those guys custom make wheels on whatever offset backspacing diameter color you name it they make really kick-ass forged wheels got a set delivering tomorrow and uh Pretty excited about that. If you're catching one of my videos for the first time, please click subscribe if you want to follow the updates on my 67 Nova build. Uh, if you don't mind, click the thumbs up down below. Appreciate you guys watching. Hope everybody has a fantastic and safe Easter Sunday. Y'all take care.